Clark Roberts, welcome to Spirit 105.3. It's wonderful to meet you here on the phone. It's great to meet you as well, Eric. I, I spend time listening to you folks uh, on air. So yes, I love your station. I love everything you guys do. Oh, that means so much. Well, I love everything that you do, and I can't wait to talk about your skydive. But first, we got to talk about our Hawks. You've been at 12 since 1985? Yes, I have. I have, you know, and uh, uh, I love to follow them. I love my friend, Mr. Steve Rabel, which makes it possible for one who cannot see to uh, understand, follow the game, and feel like I'm on the, on the field for every single play. Wow. What's been your favorite Hawks moment over the years? Oh, wow. I know. You would have, you would have to ask that, of wouldn't course. you? Yep. <sighs> Well, I, I think there's several. I mean, you know, of course, you know, winning winning a Super Bowl that was that was pretty awesome. Uh, you know, the B small moment uh, when the stadium uh, had a small earthquake. So I mean, yes, I mean, you know, there's many, there's many. Uh, following Steve Largent when Steve Largent was here, uh, you know, we've had a lot of great players, a lot of great moments, and you know, like I say, go Hawks. Amen. So you just mentioned that you can't see, you live life blind. What is it like for, because most of us are not going to experience that, Clark. How do you see the world, quote unquote? How do I see the world? Well, as my grand, what my granddaughter would say, I see, the, I see through my ears. I see through my hands. I three, see through my heart, and sometimes when there's things that I've forgotten that are there, I'll see with my forehead because I'm going into something in my home. But I mean, <laughs> other than other than other, yeah, I mean, life is life, you know. It, yeah. it, things happen, but I mean, uh, it's just being able to experience everything that God has given to me, because as I share with people, this is my gift. This is God's gift to me as far as not being able to see. And without having this gift and, ex and accepting this gift, I would not have the platform that to walk into schools and educational venues and businesses and business corporations and share about life. Wow. What do you share when you go to these places? Life is truly, truly valuable and precious and don't throw it away even though you're walking in and through all of these different challenges, mm -hmm. because we all have them. All, every single one of us has challenges. They just come in different uh, arenas, different elements, different ways. But, I mean, it's not too big. We've all been created by God to go out and be the, the wonderfully made individuals that God has created us to, us to be. And so go do and be and, and, and enjoy life. I think it's amazing that you call your blindness a gift from God. Clark, what do you say to somebody who is facing a challenge right now and they see it as the opposite? How do you turn it into a blessing in disguise? I would, I would tell them to, you know, as somebody challenged me two years ago, but I mean, I was already there, but as far as accepting everything, I would challenge the people to daily Look for three things in your life that you can be grateful for. Even as you're walking through the deepest, darkest challenge that you're walking with, find three things. Maybe it's even all one. Find something during the day that you can be grateful for and know that that is something that even in that deepest, darkest time, it's going to be okay. I love that, and I am one of your biggest fans now, Clark. You did something <laughs> recently that I would be terrified to do. You went skydiving blind. Why did you make that choice? Why did I make the choice? Well, yeah. I did this the first time 10 years ago uh, when a friend of mine was getting ready to go skydiving for his birthday, and I said, hey, I'll go skydiving with him. And it is absolutely, totally an amazing experience being up in the air. But someday when I went, uh, I went with two other individuals who had been recipients of certificates from Skydive Snohomish for, from our past two galas that we do for our nonprofit corporation. Yeah. They won certificates, and they got to go skydiving with a blind guy. The blind guy was me. And it will not be the last time that I go up in the air and jump out of a perfectly good airplane because it is so incredibly 
freeing. It's a rush. It's awesome. Even if you cannot see, and I have a couple friends that have been up there and done that that are not able to walk wow. in wheelchairs, and they've gone and done it as well. And it's just it's just an incredible, amazing time. And every time you do it, something else opens up to you and your world expands a little bit. Clark, take us up there and then down. You know what I mean? Like, describe what the experience feels like physically. Well, first of all, it, it, it's, it's incredible because, I mean, you're, you're harnessed to another individual that you jump with. But when you get into the airplane, you're sitting on the floor. You don't get a cushy seat like you do on a commercial plane going wherever you go, okay? Yeah. And then you're, uh, for the first, uh, up until about 5,000 feet, the door is still open because if they, don't cl- if they close the door, it's like sitting inside of a sauna because you're, it's, just, it's just hot inside the plane. So the, the door stays closed until you get up to at least 5,000 feet. And as you're continuing to go up to uh, altitude, we, were at, we went up to 13,500 feet. And at that particular point, the little green light goes green so that everybody who's in the plane knows that it's jump time. And then you scooch over, you scooch yourself over to the door with your uh, tandem partner who's strapped on your back. Truly, truly, truly does have your back. Wow. And then he counts you down from three, and when you hit zero, you fall forward, and now you're flying. Oh. You're flying in the air at 180 miles an hour because between the two of you, that's how fast you're flying. And you're flying, and you free fall for, for 60 seconds, and he even has a little GoPro on his his wrist, so this whole thing was captured on video. And then at, at the per, about the time he starts counting down from four, when he hits zero, at the time that he hits zero, the shoe comes out and you stop, you go from 180 miles an hour down to about 25 that fast. Wow. And then you're just hanging up in the air in this incredible quiet, especially when they pull down on both sides of the chute. It's just absolutely still quiet. And then you just float down to the ground, and you fall, and you come down, and you land on your on your on your butt. What? And it, it, it's just it's just absolutely amazing. And um, in fact, the the owner of Skydive Snohomish was standing close to my wife when I came down on Sunday. He he asked her. He says he says is that normal? And he uh, and my wife asked, what what are you talking about? That exuberance, that that expression, that that cry that comes all the way from his belly. And my wife goes, he says, yes, it's absolutely, totally uh, normal because he's experiencing something that he's able to be totally, completely free in the sky and enjoying something that is not normal to most people. Wow. Clark Roberts, it's been an honor having you on the show, and I hope you'll come back. You are an amazing absolutely. human being. <laughs> God Thank bless you, you my friend. 